You. Wake up. You in the other cell. What? Who are you? I'm the voice inside your head. Who else? What do you want? You tried to escape the other day, didn't you? Delta Six. Now you have no idea who you are anymore. But then again, you did before, so it doesn't matter. Okay. You've never seen them, our captains, have you? I think it's because they're afraid of us. They never show their faces. They want to catch you when you're vulnerable. It's because they fear you. Then you know what they'll do? They just erase your memory again. They keep doing it over and over and over. It can make a guy crazy, you know. I speak from experience after all. What do you want? Just to warn you, that's all. I'll be out of here soon enough. I'm tired of trying to escape over and over. It's not worth it. I'm completing my final exam today, and then I get to leave this place. You get to leave? And you will too, as long as you follow orders. Oh man, I think they heard me. Go back to bed, quick. The system is resetting for the day. to refresh your memory in our daily operations. All floors will be open to you for most of the day except maintenance. You will only go there when assigned maintenance duty. If you are called for maintenance duty, we will page you and give you the card to unlock the maintenance door. Throughout the day, you have scheduled tests that you must complete. Once you pass the final test, you will be granted leave from this facility and be renewed as a citizen of this galaxy. There will be three meals served each day. Meals are redeemable only through the use of the food tickets you are rewarded after completing your tests. Please report to the mess hall for breakfast and to the testing chambers after that. You will be testing in Blue Chamber 2 today. You have three tests remaining until the final exam. Once again, report to the mess hall for breakfast and then to Blue Chamber 2. End of message. <laughs> Charlie, good to see you, buddy. Oh, you don't remember me, do you? I told you not to go through with it, man. I told you not to do it. Who are you? I'm Balder. Somebody stole your food ticket, huh? Yes. Don't worry. You can have the rest of mine. We're friends, Charlie. We've stuck together since day one. Have you talked to anyone else yet? No. Good. Okay, listen up. There's a girl around here called Epsilon 5. Before you try to escape, some bad things happened because of her. It's because of her that everybody hates you now. There's a reason nobody will talk to you. If she pretends to be your friend, don't believe her. She's trying to trick you again, all right? Okay. Why did I escape? Don't ask me, man. I'm not the one who wanted to erase his own memory. All I know is I saw you talking to Giselle the day before you did it. What? Maybe you should go find her. Breakfast is over. Please report to your assigned positions for first duty. Guess I better get going. 
I'll be in the gym after testing's over if you need me. Keep in touch.
Nicely done, Delta-6. Good work. Now you may take a break if you wish, but if you want to begin the real test for your food ticket, replace the gun and have at it again. You may begin the real test whenever you're ready. Just pick up the gun again. Ten hits on each target, and you will be rewarded your food ticket for today. Ready? Begin. this section as much as you'd like throughout today's routine. If you are done with the firing range, please replace the pistol on the pedestal. Don't forget your food ticket on the way out. You've earned it. Hello. Well, I finished my computer training for the day. Did you get your ticket? Yes. Are you okay? Do you remember anything else? Not really. We usually go back together after the testing. You stop them from stealing my food tickets that way. Okay. Shall we go then? You said that you had to escape for a reason. Do you remember why? No, not fully. By the way, have you seen Balder yet? Who's Balder? I'm worried he's gonna try something now that your memory is erased. Are you eating now? Maybe. Well, I'll be in the mess hall. Thank you. 
Hey, Charlie, how's it going? What about yourself, me? What about me? We've stuck together ever since we got here. Where are we? None of us know anything. We all woke up here with no memory and we all want to get out. We do know people get out because we never see them again. They must have passed their final exams and got out of here. What do you know about the director? What do you mean? He's the only doctor who speaks to us and he seems to be in charge. If anybody's gonna let us out of here, it's him. What do you know about Epsilon 5? I told you, don't trust her. She's a tricky sort. You never know what she's really trying to do. What do you know about Giselle? Not much. She keeps to herself. Do you know where I can find her? She's on maintenance duty. Why? Never mind. Can you help me with something? Just show me what you want. What do you know about this place? I don't know. They seem like they're trying to train us for something. What do you know about the director? He... he just seems to be in charge of everyone. That's all I know. What do you know about Balder? He doesn't like you. Nobody likes him, really. What do you know about Giselle? You said she was trying to make a map of this place, so she had you escape. Maybe you should find her and talk to her. Tell me about yourself. You saved me when I first came here, from Balder. I don't know what would have happened if it wasn't for you. Goodbye. Bye. Anybody in there? Giselle? What do you want, Charlie? Let me in. No. Giselle? What do you want, Charlie? Did you tell me to escape? Shut up! Don't talk. Get in or don't. Don't walk in the room or the camera will see you. I don't think they have any hearing receptors in here. I've checked before. So, Charlie, how is it that you can remember now? Epsilon 5 told me. Don't be mad. If I kept everyone who made an escape for me after they had their memories wiped again, there would be way too many people to bust out of here. I don't hate you. It's just easier to escape with less people. You were going to use me. You knew what you were getting into. 
That's why you had Epsilon 5 remind you. It's nothing personal, Charlie. Why try to escape? Don't you know what this place is? It's a rehab center for criminals. That means they wipe your brain when you get in, and they wipe your brain when you go out. I don't know about you, but I'm not ready to lose my identity again after already losing it once. This consciousness is the only one I have, and I'm not going to let some other person decide who I am, what I've done, and what I act like. Even if I live again out of this place, it's the same as being dead to me if I don't know about it. That's why I need to escape. That's why I need to get out of here and find my old memory, who I really am. And that's why you agreed to help me, because you saw the same thing. Having your memory wiped and being turned into a new person is the same as dying again. But I had my memory wiped to help you. But you're still the same person as before. You still have the same people to remind you. After you leave this place, we'll never see each other again. You won't be aware of your other consciousness. The way I see it is, even though we existed before and will exist in the future, it doesn't matter because we only have this consciousness, who we are right now, and I want to keep it that way. That's why you want to escape? You don't want them to rehabilitate you? If I don't escape, I know they'll wipe my memory again when I'm done with the testing. That's why I can't pass my final exam. If I do, they'll send me straight out of here and I won't have this consciousness ever again. You were just going to take my map and leave me in the dark. Well, I guess you were smarter than that since somehow you're here right now. But you don't remember who you were before. It doesn't matter. If I really need to know, they should have my old identity on their memory banks somewhere. If you want yours, we can swing by. But then you'll probably lose this memory in the process. So who cares? Am I right? When are you escaping? Why should I tell you? You're not in unless you're a useful asset. And right now, you're not a useful asset. But I helped plot the map. And now I don't need you anymore. So get lost. Who else is going with you? I'm not going to tell you. I want in. I said useful asset. What can I do to help? I don't know. What can you do? What? What are they training you in now? Guns. Guns? Now that actually might be a useful commodity. Tell you what, if you can get me a gun, you can be part of the escape. All right. It's not that easy, though. You'll have to sneak it out of the testing room. God knows how. They have sensors to detect if you've moved anything out of the testing chamber. I'll get it out. I don't think you get how hard this is going to be, but okay. Don't come back here until you get it. Close the door on your way out. What do you think you're doing? Don't touch my stuff. But I might need something in there. Don't you have anything left in your stash? My what? Your stash. What stash? Your toilet. Hello? I don't think so. All right. Get me something to eat, and I'll open it. Understand? Yes. Here's that meal you wanted. Thanks, Charlie. Appreciate it. Haven't had much to eat since I hit my final exam. They've stopped issuing me food tickets since I've stopped playing their little games. Let me get that door for you.
for unauthorized testing apparatus. Scan complete. Oh, it's you again. I'll send up the gun if you want to practice. Can you move that shelf? Got it. Do you know anything about an escape plan? Um, not really. Did Giselle tell you about it? Not much. Can you help me with something? What? Just follow me. Uh, okay. Can you open that door for me? Why? Just trust me. All right. I'll wait out here. Is that all you needed me for? I think so. Well, um, I'll be around. Giselle? Unless you have the gun with you, I'm not letting you back in. I need to go in there to get the gun. Fine. Hey there, Charlie. Since you're here, I thought maybe you could help me with something. What's that? I was trying to finish my maintenance shift when I realized I needed to reset the air shafts from level two to here. You want me to fix it? Well, if you insist. If you want to try, you can use this machine down here. What about the camera? You really think somebody's watching us? If you're really that paranoid, fine. Stay up there. I don't care. (laughs) 
I'm trying to reset the ventilation system from level two to level one, which is here. To do this, you'll need to clear out the entire stretch of piping from here to the second level. This stretch would effectively be shaft number three to shaft number 10. The power influx is low right now, so you can only open up to five shafts at a time once you reactivate the ventilation system. When you turn on shafts, they turn green and also turn on any adjacent shafts. So, there's only enough power to activate five shafts right now to clear the system from shaft number three to shaft number 10, so choose wisely. Have fun. So you fixed it. Nice job. Now any foreign objects in the ventilation system on level two will get sent down here in case it gets stuck again. Here it is. I have no idea how you did that, but good job. Am I in now? Yes. Yes, you are. When are we escaping? I don't know yet. I'll have to set things up and build up our stashes. Where are we going to escape to if we don't know where we are? Look at this. This is the map you made when you broke out. You wrote a note down here. I don't know what it says because your handwriting is god-awful. It says Space Cargo Bay. So you're telling me we're in space? I don't know. I didn't see it. Either way, we have to finish this map before we plan the escape. And also, we need to get our stashes together. Until then, don't pass your final exam unless you want your brain wiped again. I want Epsilon 5 to come with us. You mean that scrawny little girl who hasn't even decided on a name yet? Yes. Every person added to the escape drops more weight on the scale. Any more, and we'll fall through the floor and trip on ourselves. She works with computers. I'll see what I can do. You should leave. Okay. I'll add the gun with the rest of the stash tonight. And tell that girl to get a real name. Perpetual rain. Must have been a pain during the war. They turned off the machine so we didn't get soaked all the time. Stopped mining. Halted space exploration for about a year. What was the address Matthias gave? What? Are you just gonna go up to the front door and ask them to hand over the location? I'm going to try. Asriel. I'll find out where Center 7 is, and I'll get out. I'll make this quick. I yeah, will see. The address he gave is Brookview Avenue, 4388. I'll get back to you when I have the coordinates. If I'm going to do any sleuthing, I'll have to fix my lockpick. I'll need a carbon ray stabilizer to do it. The too firm in place to pull off by hand. I've got the bottom boards off. I should be able to squeeze under now. Wonder what happened here. It's like some kind of burned down safe house. I can't reach those crates while this obstruction is in the way. I can't quite get through the hole. Maybe somebody smaller could get under there.
Looks like she's looking for something. Excuse me. Hello? Can I at least know your name? You first. Okay. It's t Azrael. Azrael Odin. Azrael Odin? Does that name mean something to you? You're Azrael Odin. That's right. Do you know me or something? No, but the Bodhi Okudin do. And I take it you know the Bodhi Okudin. They say you're a pain to them, an annoyance that keeps coming back. They say you were an assassin your whole life, but just recently you betrayed them all and now you're hunting them down as a cop. Is that what they say? Is it true? People say lots of things. Just because they said it doesn't mean it happened. You don't seem like an assassin to me. If you're really Azriel Odin, that is. You don't have death in your eyes. Well, any enemy of the Bodhi Okudin is a friend of mine. So what do you want? What are you looking for? It's just something I lost. Maybe I can help. Maybe you'll just steal it and keep it for yourself. Hmm. Have you ever heard of a place called Center 7? No. I mean... No. Do you always hide your face? Only when talking to strangers. Can you do me a favor? What? I need a second person to help me with something. What? Just follow me and I'll show you. Go ask somebody else. There's nobody else around here. Conscious, I mean. Help me find my card first and maybe I'll help you. Your what? It's a security card. I lost it in one of these dumpsters. It should say something like WTC2 on it. All right. <laughs> 